I'm Lenore Gonzalez. I own Living Good Travel located in Middleton, Colorado. I love to travel and create unforgettable travel experiences. Come join me as I travel throughout the world and show you everything there is to explore. We're here at Dead Horse Point, and Dead Horse Point got its name because the cowboys used to corral all their wild horses here um, using the natural cliffs as a barrier. And so it was easy to round up the horses. So, so much really has changed since the Wild Wild West. So before we go, let's stop by here. Starting from snow melt over 9,000 feet above sea level in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. It's amazing how the Colorado River flows through Utah, Arizona before reaching the Sea of Cortez. So it spans like three states. So I heard like um, Dead Horse Point has um, little precipitation, so there's like not a lot of rain here. So the uh, plants and the animals that um, live here adapted to like no rain. They're oh my goodness, up. look how so beautiful. beautiful it is. As we walk through Dead Horse Point, it's amazing to see how beautiful the scenery is. There's really not one view that's the same. It's just amazing and breathtaking. See, like this one is like 175 million years, Navajo, Navajo sandstone. I mean, it's so quiet. I feel like we're the only ones here in the park today. Everybody's at the arches. <laughs> So let's see, they said those bright blues on the desert floor are solar evaporation ponds. So this is like when they used to mine like um, uranium, I think. You see that? Oh, it's over there. Yeah. That's the salt. Yeah. Let's go check out the other side. It's amazing to see that everywhere you look, the scenery was so beautiful. It was changing. Like there was not one scenery that was the same. All right. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I want, I need to hold on to you just this in case I fall. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You're not going to fall. You're good. All right. <sighs> Let's go over here. Oh, yes. Better be over here. Oh, you know, I didn't we learn yesterday the different colors are because of the iron? Yeah. So if it's red, it's iron. It's FeO3. There's a lot more iron. It's the iron that makes it red. Oh, remember when they told us yesterday that's where du Telma and Luis was filmed? Remember that? Oh, yeah, that, like that's we the were, spot. Yes, we were standing right there, and he was pointing out, like, okay, this is Dead Horse Point, and you're going to be able to see Canyonlands from here. We actually saw the place where one of the movies, Telma and Luis, was shot. There's a lot of movies that were that were shot here. Indiana Jones was shot here. The opening scene was shot at Arches. There's also 127 Hours, if you've seen that movie. It's about an outdoors man that was stuck between a rock and a hard place for a week. The Westworld series, if you follow that, was also shot here. But I wonder how, you know, I wonder how they got the, the cars in here. Yeah, they said they used three cars to do that. I know, but shit. how did they get the cars Probably in there? Probably a helicopter. I don't know, but that is so cool. Yeah, Telma and Luis was one. And then at the Arches, where we were yesterday, they filmed um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Remember, he was showing us where that... Yes. That I think it was it's Raiders part, of yeah. the Lost Ark part one or part two. Look how hard it is. Yeah. It's so... Be uneven. careful. <laughs> I know, but then I'll get my workout here today. I have to hold on to you because sure. this is uneven. But let's go over there. Wow, this is really nice. Oh, watch where you're going. <laughs> I'll get your camera ready. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Let's go and see if we could go by the edge. I can't believe how magical of a place this is. It's so pretty. I could just stay here and stand and be quiet. 
So far, Moab has been amazing. It was a great trip. We took the train here, the Rocky Mountaineer from Denver to Moab. And today here at Dead Horse Point, I mean, I can't believe, I mean, Moab continues to amaze. I mean, it's known for its beautiful landscape, beautiful um, rock formations. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, you have to be here to appreciate and see the beauty that it offers. I mean, this is pretty, but I can't wait to see what Gemini Bridges is all about. Okay, I mean, I've read a lot go. about it. Yeah. So let's go check it out next. For more reality shows, visit yamediatv.com.